Keep it going for Dan Bax, everybody, huh? Wow, that was amazing. Yeah, great to be here, huh? Yeah, uh, my name is Caitlyn Jenner. I'm gonna be uh, telling you some jokes. Thank you, that's right. I look good. I look like the, le yeah, I look like the lead singer of a band that plays before the real band, you know? Like, you guys ready to rock? Soon, because I gotta go first, all right. Yeah. I know, sorry I'm dressed like this. I, uh, I just came from work. I uh, sell beer to high school kids, so I tried to rush over as quickly as I could. Yeah. I look kind of like Jesus came back, but he forgot why. You know, like, I know there's something I was supposed to... Somebody told me I look like Fabio with leukemia. And that's, that's mean. Yeah. I look like I'm about to tell you that the haunted house is shut down. That's, Sorry guys, no spookies tonight. Right. Great to be in St. Pete. I love St. Pete. St. Pete's beautiful. If, if, I've, if I know anything about St. Pete, it's that you guys love art and cocaine. That seems to be the two most popular things. In I think that's why there's murals everywhere. We're just checked it. Keep paying it. Do one on the roof, dude. Fuck it. God will see it. No, uh, yeah, we, we, we got the playoffs in town, too. That's exciting. The Rays are in the playoffs again. That's, yeah, that's exciting. They said that this is only the second time in history that baseball's been exciting. So that's pretty... We love baseball. Baseball was like the last sport to get instant replay. Do you know that? It was only like a few years ago that we got instant replay in baseball, which I think is interesting. Because for all these years before, the entire happiness of a city was determined by how quickly an old guy could turn around. Just, <laughs> I think it's a home run. Boo, fuck you. you ruined my life. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, everything's back to normal, kinda. Uh, the state fair was back, so that's, you know. Anybody go to the state fair? Okay, you guys are too good for white trash Disney. That's what I'm hearing. I love the fair. The fair is the only place where everybody comes together. You know? The fair is the only place where you'll see, like, a pair of Confederate flag Jordans. What? Yeah, this year was different. They were giving out deep-fried vaccines. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I only got the first one. You had to get three balls into a bucket to get the second one. So I think I'll be all right. But, uh, you know, as we all know, I'm just joking because COVID's not real. Uh, yeah. Isn't that nice to live in a state that COVID didn't get to? That's pretty cool. It's kind of like when you're too dumb for Jedi mind tricks to work on you. That's Florida. Like, we're already so messed up, COVID never stood a chance, you know? COVID gets in our bodies and is like, I'm gonna fuck up your lungs! And the Marlboro Reds are like, get in line, dude. <laughs> Messing with this guy for 20 years. He's not changing. Uh, with that being said, though, I actually did just have COVID. Uh, but uh, don't worry, it's okay. I'm not contagious anymore as of uh, now. All right, so we're good. Been a few seconds. No, I actually had to miss Christmas with my family because of COVID. So there were some positives. Wasn't all bad. Yeah, I just never thought something fake could hurt me so bad. And I want to make a strap-on joke there. But <laughs> Yeah, but I feel like it's in bad taste. But to be fair, I have no taste. I have COVID. So it's, it's all good. It's just, it's weird to think about how we're going to brag about surviving COVID in the future, the way every generation brags about their hardships, like the wars or depressions. But how are we going to brag about surviving COVID? What are we going to say? Oh yeah, it was brutal. We we're all held up in our house with nothing but HBO Max and... Uber Eats, and I was on unemployment, so I made more money than I would have made. Yeah, very financially beneficial pandemic for me. Yeah, I don't have health insurance, but I bought a bunch of crystals with my stimulus check. So, yeah, my throat chakra's okay. I think I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah, I've been riding those e-scooters around town, because, you know, I'm ready to die. And, uh... Yeah, those things are fun, but I feel like the joy in those isn't even riding it as much as it's just being able to leave it wherever the fuck you want. You know, like we all get to feel like rich children. Just, yep, middle of the crosswalk, I'm done. I don't care. 
I want sushi now. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I drove a car here, though. I like cars, but I don't know anything about cars, which is awkward Anytime I got to talk to one of those, what they call men, you know? They'll be, they'll be like, what do you got under the hood? I'm like, engine. Yeah. Right pedal goes forward. Left one doesn't. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ladies, you ever sleep with a guy because his car's really loud? Then why are they still doing it? Who, who are these guys? I needed to be really loud. My daddy hit me in high school, so if it's not super loud, I think. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, the Bucks are doing good. We're three and one now. That's exciting. Doing all right. Yeah, some two people care. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the, I don't know if you guys remember. We had the Ed, Ed Sheeran concert in town for the opening game. I was cool. Yeah, because nothing gets me jacked up for football like Ed Sheeran. Right? How am I supposed to watch football when I'm all wet? I can't. <laughs> I, was in, uh, I was in Miami the other day. Uh, I, I feel bad for their team. Just cause, I don't know, just because of the names. Right, like, because every other NFL team has like tough names, you know. It's like Raiders, you know, Eagles, Vikings, Dolphins. Hey, I don't... <laughs> e e. It's... We're gonna put on our finest Sunday brunch colors and go play football. It's... Yeah, I'm a I'm actually from Washington D.C. The swamp. Oh yeah, we got some people from D.C. Is it? Oh, yeah, are you from D.C.? Cool. What part? Right, that's it. What, what part? Silver Spring? Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's because every time I ask that, people are like, hell yeah. I go, what part of DC? They go, not DC. <laughs> <laughs> what part of DC from? Chicago. All right. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, that's where I'm from. The swamp. Uh, <laughs> pulled a bike out, spray painted it. It's all good. Um, yeah, our, our basketball team is the Wizards, the Washington Wizards. And uh, some people don't know this. The Wizards used to be called the Bullets but they changed their name around the year 2000 because gun crime was so high in the city that they figured, change the name of the basketball team, everything will work itself out. And uh, it did, no more gun crime. But there's been a huge rise in wizardry, which has been very scary. Just dudes on the corner with robes and amulets, like, give me your money, I'll turn you into a frog, bitch! <laughs> Bippity boppity bitch ass mofo. So who here is a criminal? <laughs> anybody been to court for anything? A couple of woos? Would anybody want to tell me why they had to go to court? If you'd want to share? A couple of whistles? Anybody want to tell me anything? Come on, somebody tell me what they did. Why'd you have to go to court? <laughs> you got a fake idea? What did somebody in the back shop? Selling shrooms. Selling shrooms? Oh, you're doing the Lord's work. That's not a crime. I should give you a fucking gold medal. God, shrooms are the best. <laughs> See, I, when you're on shrooms, you're just so full of like love and compassion for everything. When I'm on shrooms, I can't even smoke weed because I feel bad for the weed. You know, like, I don't want to burn you, buddy. <laughs> one, one time I Googled, one time I Googled, can you smoke shrooms? And um, the overwhelming answer was no, you can't smoke shrooms. But here's why I love the internet, because every few posts, somebody would still be like, fuck yeah, you can smoke shrooms, dude. I smoked half a bag today, I'm high as hell. And that's why I love the internet, because people just go out of their way to fuck with other people. Like my favorite example of this was a website called Yahoo Answers. And uh, yeah, you just post a question, somebody responds. Somebody wrote on Yahoo Answers, they said, uh, another girl at school told me that if I drink blue paint while I'm on my period, the blood will come out purple. I've been drinking blue paint and the blood is still red. Does anybody know what's going on? Yeah, the only response, somebody wrote, drink more paint! That's <laughs> why the internet's pretty cool. But um, yeah, crime stuff. Uh, if you've never been to court before, court is just a game you gotta play when you get caught fucking up more money you have, better shot you have at winning. If you don't think court is a game, look at the terminology that they use. Two teams sit on a bench and practice 
in a court in an attempt to win a trial. If you don't want to play, you can plead no contest. They call it a contest. How much more obvious can it get? A verdict will be reached by a jury of your peers. What is this, a fucking game show? Tonight on Law, 12 strangers will decide whether one man will escape in an hour or get raped in the shower, only on TBS. <laughs> You guys like music? <laughs> How generic can it be? I, I, like, I like rap music, but uh, I, I feel like rap is the only genre that openly attacks the listener. You know, like, like the lyrics will be like, you broke, I'm rich, I fuck, yo bitch. I'm like, this guy's mean, I don't wanna hear this. I like when they do the gun noises in the songs though, that's exciting, you know? My gun go bop, bop, my gun go brr. I'm like, have you ever heard a gun before? Like, what are these weird fantasy noises we're doing? My gun go bazoingy? Okay, let's take it easy. Yeah. I, like to, uh, I like to listen to Pandora. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, old man, fucking loser. I don't know. I just like the randomness. It's nice. But uh, I, I, I put on Pandora as, as, you know, like mood music if I'm with somebody. But I forgot that ads play during this. Uh, I was with somebody the other night, all of a sudden I heard, good news, the four piece McNugget is back on the dollar menu. And that's not fair, you know? Because I should decide when I come. You can't just tell me that great news. Expect me to keep it together. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that's right, McNuggets make me come. It's a new Rick Ross mixtape, check it out. <laughs> McNuggets, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I, I, was, I was listening to music the other day, uh, a song by Sean Kingston came on. You remember the R&B guy? Yeah, he got in a jet ski crash. I think that was his last big hit. But um, he <laughs> a song by Sean Kingston came on called Take You There. And uh, if you don't remember the, the lyrics of this song, the chorus goes, we can go to the tropics, sip pina coladas, shorty, I can take you there. Or we can go to the slums where killers get hung, shorty, I can take you there. Who the fuck's going with the second option on that? Really? We could sip pina coladas? No, let's go see where murderers get murdered. That sounds like more fun. Save the other one for my birthday. Yeah. I saw a girl breastfeeding on Tinder the other day. Yeah, what am I supposed to think when I see that? Ooh, maybe I'm next. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember when you thought you had to date somebody before you had sex with them? <laughs> remember that innocent part of your childhood where you're like, I'm gonna be in love if I have sex. Now it's like, maybe if you fuck them real good, they'll take you to Applebee's. Like, that's dating now. Okay, didn't like that one, that's fine. These, these jokes identify as funny, so if you, if, you, if you don't laugh, I feel victimized, I will report you. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're dating somebody new, what's the first question your friends ask? Oh, you're dating somebody new? Let me see a picture. Let me see a picture of the person you're dating. Longer it takes them to show you a picture, uglier that person is. You ever notice that? Look, yeah, hold on, let me pull one up. Hold on! Get away from me, hold on! All right, here you go. She's like six blocks away wearing a winter jacket and a motorcycle helmet. She's perfect! <laughs> you guys healthy? Okay. What'd you say, physically, yes, mentally, no? It's nice. Well, at least you're very aware, you know? That's the first step. Good for you, mentally un unhealthy. Why do you think you're mentally? Why do you think we came here? I know, I got nothing to, <laughs> I got nothing to say for that. We're gonna heal you. Laughter's the best medicine. Besides, you know, medicine. But <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> Health, correct. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I want to be healthy, but it's, it's hard to be healthy. Just because everything's like so good for you, but so bad for you at the same time. Like the front of the package will say, 
Everything will give you cancer? It's true. But yeah, the front of the package will say like, made with real fruit in mind. Like, <laughs> like we thought about fruit when we made this. We, we owe you nothing. Like, uh, yeah, Taco Bell had a campaign not too long ago where they went on TV and were like, recently people have been questioning the integrity of our beef here at Taco Bell. So for one week only, crunch wraps are 79 cents. And yeah, that's an interesting marketing strategy. To just be like, oh really, it's shitty? We'll make it cheap, you'll eat it, fucker. Like, can you imagine any other business doing some shit like that? Like if McDonald's was like, yes, it turned out that one of our McNuggets was a baby's foot. <laughs> but for one week only, it's nickel nuggets! Go nuts, fatties! What the hell? Yeah, the newest Marvel movie was Shang-Chi. You guys see Shang-Chi? Yeah, hell yeah, that guy's hot, right? More like Shang-Chi. That guy's... <laughs> but remember when that guy shot up the Asian massage parlors in Atlanta? That was, that was the beginning of the Stop Asian Hate movement. That's where it started. And people likened it to the Black Lives Matter movement. But with Black Lives Matter movement, it was very strict with like, you know, say their names. Say their names, George Floyd, say their names, Breonna Taylor. But why didn't we do that for Stop Asian Hate? Why don't we do that for them? And I think it's because they don't trust us to say their names right. <laughs> Can you imagine reporters on the news like, say their names, stop Asian hate. <laughs> Lei Le Zun Zhu. Just stop Asian hate, okay? Just, just stop Asian hate. I think terrorism only exists because it's hot outside. I, I really think it's just misplaced hate because it sucks outside. It's like, have you ever heard of a terrorist who grew up next to a waterfall? No. You want to know who grows up next to waterfalls? The people who fund terrorism because they want more waterfalls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I wish I had a big, like, cool closer for you guys. <laughs> But I already got the I already got the light, and um, you know I don't want to take any time from the other comics. But you guys have been so cool, and thank you for looking at me. My name's John Jacobs. Have a great night, everybody. We appreciate it. Thank you. John Jacobs. Make sure John Jacobs one more time. <laughs>